right. Time for your first test. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now, I command you to walk up to where I am standing. I command you to walk up to where I am standing now. Argus, I command you to walk up to where I am standing now. Yes, yes, Argus, that's very good. That's very good. Uh, keep coming. Keep coming. Right up to where I'm standing. Don't stop. Very good. Just come up right here. Yes, 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 that is very, very good. Good, Argus, good. Okay, now, um, hmm. Okay, hmm. Argus? What I need you to do is... Dr. Walker? Um, I... Oh, Professor Jenny. Um, I'm in the middle of an experiment. With my experiment. <laughs> um, do you think you can call me back later? Oh, sorry, Dr. Walker. Um, I just wanted to inform you that the results for cash are in. Um, what do you want me to do with the papers. For cash? Um, just put it downstairs in the lab. I'll pick them up later. Yes, Dr. Walker. Um, Dr. Walker, if I may ask, um, what is that exactly? Oh, excuse my manners. Um, Professor Jenny, this is my newest experiment. Argus. Argus, this is Professor Jenny. She is my partner. Oh, uh, <laughs> nice to meet you, Argus. Is he even human anymore? Well, not exactly. <laughs> Before these experiments, I did the usual, and he may or may not have been burnt. Just a little. <laughs> All that remains of him is his right eye. Everything else is made of scrap metal. Uh, that's uh, interesting. Um, I'll be going now. I don't want to bother you. Um, a reminder, the papers are in the laboratory. Thank you, Professor Jenny. Argus, get back to your spot. Oh, good, Argus. You actually listen. Unlike some of my experiments. Hmm. Now, what we're going to do is check your reflexes to make sure you are not blind. I have had a few experiments who have been blind and I was just stupid enough to realize. 
It's a very simple test. There's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> Very good, and you see, <laughs> didn't hurt a bit. Now that we know you're not blind and helpless, we can go on to the next experiment. Now, this can get a little <laughs> dangerous. This won't hurt. <laughs> and if it does, well, that's even better for me. And now we wait. only take a few seconds. Don't be scared. <laughs> Whoa. Um. Hmm. It didn't really go as planned. Very interesting. I did not expect him to fall down like that. Mm. Thought I could grow some sort of supernatural powers, but this will have to do not what I had in mind. Very interesting. Put that in my records. Okay. Oh, look. The big doofus is up. Don't move anywhere. Okay, um... Argus, I, uh, I'm gonna do some repairs. Hopefully, we can figure a couple things out. Did you just shake your head? Signs that he is still in there. You don't want to do any more tests, right? You don't want me to tweak a couple things here and there? Maybe mess with some of your wires? Well, too bad. I'm doing them. Well, it's very good that you still have your own brain in there. But unfortunately, I will still be doing them, whether you like it or not. Oh, 
Okay, now that we're done with the back of your head, we need to fix that mechanical eye of yours. It's not looking as, hmm, as good as it used to. Come on, Argus. Turn around and face me. Good. <laughs> now we're gonna work on that eye of yours. <sighs> um, Dr. Walker, um, I'm so sorry to bother you, but um, we have a lot of trouble going on. What is it? We have some experiments downstairs, um, they're causing, uh, quite a bit of ruckus, um, banging against the glass, uh, screaming, um, yelling, uh, saying things that I wish I didn't hear. Um, I need you to go downstairs and contain them, please. Is it really that important that I need to stop with my experiment and go down there? Yes, sir. I would like it if you would go downstairs. It is very important. Um, yeah. <sighs> okay, fine. Fine. I need you to keep a watch on Argus for me while I go downstairs and talk to them. <sighs> okay. I'll be right back. And keep an eye on him. He's smarter than you think he is. Definitely has enough dog in there, even though he's mostly robot. Yes, Dr. Walker. Alright. What the tail is going on down here? You. Talk to me. Um, it's the German Shepherd all the way down. He's been, uh, cursing a bit and, uh, banging on the glass. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, <laughs> we got the glass part contained. Why do you think I put you guys in a glass container if I knew you would break out? Ugh. Well, well, well. I heard you've been a little naughty down here. Oh, look, it's you. <laughs> What do you want? I should be asking you that. <laughs> what do you want? What do I want? <laughs> oh, that's a funny joke, old man. I want to get out of here. Just like everybody else down here. You think you have the right to snatch people off the streets and throw them into a cell? A cell so small, I can't even lie down without being crammed in here. What are you gonna do to us, huh? Feed us to a dragon? Oh, you silly boy. <laughs> I'm doing way worse than throwing you to dragons. Although, I have done that to one experiment. And he did almost kill my dragon. But that's besides the point. What do I do, you ask? Well, I do lots of things. I experiment on you guys. Experimenting is what I live for. Experimenting, huh? <laughs> that is just sick. What exactly do you do while you're experimenting on us? Throw boiling acid at our faces? I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't do that. Hmm, that was a good idea. See if pets survive boils. That's a very good idea, thank you for that. 
But no, I don't do that yet. What I do, well, I slice them, I burn them, I electrocute them, sometimes I poison them, I strangle them, I hold them underwater, I throw bricks at their heads, see what they can sustain, and how much weight and pain they can take. <laughs> So, did that answer your question? Oh, it did more than just answer my question. If I ever get out of here, I'm reporting you to the police. <laughs> they'll let everyone go and they'll put you to prison for the rest of your life for doing this to all these helpless, innocent pets. You make me sick, you stupid mutt. I've been doing this for 15 years and no one has caught me. And I don't think the police are gonna find me anytime soon. So, I suggest that you keep your mouth shut. The same goes for all of you. These cells that you're in, I made them so that you would never be able to break out. <laughs> if I knew you are going to break out of this glass, I would have never put you here in the first place. So don't even try to break through. Second, if I hear another peep, squeak, bark, whimper, whinny, Whatever the heck you guys do down here. If I hear you guys make another sound or even talk to each other, you will be next in line to be experimented on. <laughs> and this trash pile over here is already going to be next in line. <laughs> I just started. A new experiment, but it would only take a while, and uh, <laughs> I could always do two experiments at once. I hope you have a good night's sleep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, they shouldn't be talking for a while. <laughs> I shut them up, and hopefully we won't have to worry about anything. That's good, Dr. Walker. Um, I, uh, I put Argus back in his spot, and, um, I just fixed anything that was, um, b b broken. Um, um, he did have a broken metal plate, but I fixed that up. Um, huh. what's the matter? You a little scared? What? No, 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 I'm not scared. It's just, uh, huh. I've never seen an experiment so, um, undog-like, but at the same time, like, having a mind of its own. Um, it's just, he's very interesting and d different from your other experiments. If you have a problem and you're scared like a little baby, I will fire you like I fired all of my other professors who were too childish and too scared to help with what I do. And you do not want to know what I did to my former professors. And I certainly do not just let them go. Because I do not want my secrets to be let out. Yes, Dr. Walker, understood. Um, I'm going to be going now. Um, I'll be in my office if you need me. Well, that settles it.
All right, Argus, we're going to do one more experiment and then we'll be done for the day. <laughs> Today, we're only just getting started. Now, Argus, I am going to be putting this around your neck. And if there is more dog in you, then you'll start choking within the half hour. But if you're more robot than anything, you'll just sit there and watch as your scrappy metal neck gets crushed. So, I'm going to activate this for half an hour and see what happens. Hopefully, we have good results. Alright, done. Now, I'm going to take some blood samples from your eye. And we're gonna do a little tests here and there while this test is running. Don't be a baby. Mm, this will definitely have to be recorded. Never seen that before. Mm, okay. Dr. Walker, is everything okay? I heard a lot of noise and I was... Dr. Walker? Dr. Walker? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Dr. Walker. Dr. Walker, wake up. Please wake up. Oh no, no, no. I have to call the police. I have to call the police. Oh no.